What is up guys, Matt here, and welcome to my first class setup. Um, so today I'm doing a SMG class, and uh, I am also playing on the map Prison Break, um, which you really wouldn't think an SMG class is good for, though I would have to say that you are wrong because of this. Um, I think that this class is a really nice setup. Um, I actually found it by accident with an ammo crate, and I just love the setup. So uh, in a second here, I will show you the class, but I just want to show you a couple kills beforehand. Um, as you can see right there, I was kind of maxing out the range, and it has a lot of recoil, um, which I mean could be fixed with a couple alternative uh, class setups. But let's get to the class setup right now. So I'm using the P P90 or the Bison with an ACOG scope and a silencer. I'm also using uh, no secondaries, tacticals, or lethals, and I'm using these perks. Um, the perks I've chosen make it really nice to um, really run around the map, get behind enemies, um, and you really won't be found easily. Um, and then I'll be running SATCOM, Guard Dog, and Maniac. So um, yeah, let's get back to the gameplay. Um, so. Prison Break is a pretty long range map. It's about medium to long range map. It's not as much short range. There are some places where you can have some short range combat, but you won't find that that often. Um, I mean, uh, here I die a couple times. I'm going to clip around a little bit in the gameplay just so I can get you guys some uh, more interesting kills or whatever. But um, yeah, so I really like this class. It has a high rate of fire. Um, the P, P90 or the Bison um, and you can really get those kills and with the silencer it just sounds really like good um, it doesn't really decrease the range that much because um, I actually got pretty long range kills I got one from a tree all the way to like right where I am right now like on the other side of the river way down um, you just gotta watch the recoil um, because it really bounces around uh, when you're going full auto, so you gotta kind of like, um, you gotta tap, fire every once in a while for those longer range kills. Um, and sometimes, uh, you, people will get the hits on you and you'll start bouncing around. So, if you guys wanted to have a better, uh, setup, um, I would definitely recommend going with, um, either a foregrip if you like. That, I like how my setup is right now, but as an alternative, I you could probably put a foregrip on there, and uh, you'd have to take away a, a perk or two um, to get the extra attachment perk and put on another uh, attachment, which I mean is no problem. Um, but yeah, I really like this. You can hip fire really easily. Um, as you can see there, I did a nice little uh, slide kill. And, uh, yeah, you can hit fire really easily if you get those first few hits on the people and you can really just spray and you'll most likely get the kill. Um, good example of it is, like, right here. I ran the corner, didn't see the guy, and I get the double kill there, um, which was really nice. Um, yeah, so I get that kill, and I am close to, uh, or I was close to getting all my streaks. So I got the um, I got the maniac armor right here from a care package uh, from a operations suitcase thing, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna end off this gameplay with some maniac stuff. I get about three or four kills. Uh, I love this maniac armor. It's actually really cool. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a thumbs up and also comment what you guys want to see next on a class setup um yeah guys i will see you guys later and i'll leave you off with the rest of this gameplay peace